Tomba Revenge. Chapter 16.2 The Inskip Wedding. Hello, we continue our reading of Tom Bauer's publication. Revenge. Learn more about the world of narcissism and of course what Harry's wife actually did when somebody comes along and examines it forensically one day Harry's wife was prepared to be guided by Jason and the palace's media experts. But on another day she rejected their advice. This shows the black and white responses of Harry's wife that there is no consistency saved with regard to the consistent to always assert that control nullify threats to control. Draw fuel, gained character traits and residual benefits. A telephone call from Canova advised her that wearing her M&H necklace only encouraged photographers and the media that was precisely infringing the privacy. She sought close to tears and completely distraught pity play. She called a friend and pleaded, I can't win. They make out like I'm to blame for these pictures that it looks like I'm encouraging them. I don't know what to say. Well you're guided by publicists and agents and palace staff who've all got experience in relation to these things. Why don't you listen to what they tell you to do women rather than just going of course the fact that Jason North advises her that in an honest and well-intentioned way is a threat to control because it's telling her how she should behave and rather than accept and go thank you, Jason. I will take your good offices to heart and implement them immediately. I'm glad you've got my back in this regard. Instead it's, I'll run away and whinge about the situation to a friend. The friend, of course, will facilitate this and in so doing allows her to indirectly gain that sense of control over the media by betraying them as horrible and nasty and supporting Harry's wife and believing that it isn't actually her fault. Returning to the publication, according to an admirer, she felt damned if she didn't damned if she didn't I. E. The threats to her control were coming thick and fast to some in the palace. Harry's wife's emotional torment appeared unreasonable. But for Harry, Harry's wife's distress caused him to become increasingly paranoid. Any adverse reports prompted wild criticism of his staff. The external stressor of his wife's distress or apparent distress then erodes his emotional empathy and causes his narcissistic traits of argumentative new and anger to be displayed towards staff. Seminal moment arrived during their trip to Jamaica in March 2017 to celebrate the marriage of Tom Skippy and Skip. Harry's Etonian friend who had been present in Las Vegas during Harry's nude romp as the Pink Pods got a good airing, Harry flew premium economy from London. Harry's wife arrived from Toronto in a friend's private jet hypocrisy of the eco-warrior. About 40 guests, including Harry's oldest friends gathered for the three-day party at the Round Hill Hotel in Montego Bay. All parents in attendance finally remembered giving Harry cottage pie and comfort during his teenage years. The close-knit group keenly anticipated meeting Harry's wife. They were quickly disappointed. Not only did she quibble about the food sense of entitlement, but behaved princess's sense of entitlement, refusing to engage with Harry's friends, exhibition of envy, assertion of control, by virtue, with withdrawal. She wasn't interested in us, said one mother, I have of course, gone over part of this, in part to pass him of this series in relation to the excerpts and therefore you're always welcome to revisit that to get more detail about it. Returning to the publication since this was the first important event Harry's wife and Harry had appeared at together. There was certain to be media interest secluded in the resort's most isolated villa. Harry spotted a photographer in the bushes, although he was wearing a swimming costume. He became incandescent. Is it the fact that if you're wearing budgie smugglers, you're not allowed to lose your ag? How interesting. I didn't realize that was a law of swimwear. But now I do Harry's friends were particularly puzzled by this violent outburst, considering the frequency of similar previous events in his life. Now, of course, as I've explained previously, the appearance of somebody with a long lens camera acts as an external stressor impacts upon Harry, causing him to lose his shit and become angry. Of course, there are some who suggest that photographer may well have been placed by Harry's wife herself, not beyond the realms of possibility that she would do so. And of course, as has been opined earlier, it appears that they went there jointly. Although there's other suggestions that she gate crashed this wedding and certainly the pictures that were taken at the time, it didn't suggest that all was well in paradise whatsoever. 
Returning to the publication, Harry's friends, suspicion of Harry's wife increased. The sentiment was mutual. Harry's wife disliked in Skips and his crowd. Reason being they pose threats to control because they were so close to Harry and that because they didn't go along with what she wanted. They were painted black. Their jokes and their attitude towards the world were unacceptable to her photographs were never published. Over the following weeks, Harry's friends agreed that he was rushing too fast towards marriage. Uneasy about the influence on Harry of the woman who had suddenly walked into their lives. Their instincts warned them to beware of the intruder. Several shared their fears with William. In Skip was among the first to tell Harry to be cautious best to be sure. He said, William spoke next. Don't feel like you need to rush this, he said to his brother. Take as much time as you need to get to know this girl after all he had known Kate for eight years before he proposed, furious about the closing ranks. Harry told Harry's wife here. Of course, his narcissistic traits were coming to the fore. They didn't like to be told what to do then, in effect he wanted people to embrace this person that made him feel wonderful and that it upset him that his brother and best friend weren't accepting of her. And therefore rather than sit and think, hang on a second, is there some merit in what they're saying to me about here? Maybe I should take notice of the fact that these two people have spoken out and particularly my brother, maybe I should listen to them. Of course Harry is affected by his emotional thinking. That doesn't want him to listen to this sage counsel. It wants him to be with the narcissist. It doesn't want to hear anything that might dissuade him from staying away from her and failing to feed his addiction to the narcissist. Many people when they're being love-bombed might think there's something a little bit odd, but they don't act upon it. In part, it's because they don't know they're dealing with the Nazis, but also it's because their own emotional thinking has clouded their judgment that where they're being bombarded with lots of text messages, they just think that is sweet. They might think it's a little bit excessive. But hey, he's just really into me. The fact that that person has brought them four gifts in the space of two weeks might seem a little bit excessive, but they don't see it as the grooming that it actually is. It's just really nice and who doesn't like to receive some gifts? It's nice to be treated like this, particularly after the last douchebag that I was with, which of course was in all likelihood a narcissist and another one accordingly, Harry fails to have regard to the logic that's being pushed his way and instead is caught up by his own emotional thinking which corrupts his traits to cause him to be upset about the fact that his friend and his brother aren't embracing his new fantastic relationship. They are more objective, but of course his emotional thinking tells him that they're envious of what he's got. That William doesn't like the fact that he could be happy for once. And therefore he turns of course to the one person that he shouldn't Harry's wife to explain what they've been saying. Returning to the publication furious about the closing ranks, Harry told Harry's wife both agreed that they were victims of racism. That shows the deluded nature of the thinking. Harry is a consequence of his emotional thinking. Her because of her Nelson will not allow her to recognize that she's at fault and therefore points by blame shifting that they're racists. William fumed Harry was a snob, an odd charge since Kate was as middle class as Harry's wife. But Harry's anger was deep rooted. He had long resented William's superiority and the fact that he was about to become sixth in succession. I'm not the important one. He had once said, overwhelmed by his sense of inferiority. His relationships within Skip and William were breaking down. And again, this is a collateral consequence of the behavior of the narcissist, driving a wedge between that primary victim, Harry and other people that were in his support network beyond the palace. Few understood Harry's intentions over the previous six months, since their affair had been exposed. Harry and Harry's wife have prevented the public properly understanding their relationship. The occasional newspaper story and social media post was never accompanied by a meaningful photograph showing them as a couple and thus ends this section, but more awaits us this time. It involves India. It's us this time.